enemy to our enemy. They can never be our friend. They can never be our friend. That's right. The Bible just called them what? Our enemy. So unto your enemies. They are your enemies. They are your oppressors. Read on. For bondmen, for bondmen, slave men, and bond women. Bond women, slave women. And no man shall buy you. And nobody's going to save us. Nobody's going to pay. You know, you go to jail, you got to get a bail farm and get out, right? That's what Redeemer's talking about. Nobody's going to buy us out of this thing. Right. Nobody's going to come get us. Nobody's going to come save us. We have leaders rise and fall. It's not going to get done. Right. The only leader that's going to do it is Hamashiach Yahawashah, who you guys call Jesus Christ. Right. And we got to wake up to the fact that we are Israelites and start keeping these commandments. Give me Isaiah. No, you go to uh, 46. Give me 46. Verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Give me 45. Verse 45, uh -huh. moreover all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee, uh -huh. and shall pursue thee, uh -huh. and overtake thee, uh -huh. till thou be destroyed. Till we be what? Destroyed. Destroyed. We're destroyed. That's why we hate ourselves. Right. That's why our women burn, the, they burn their hair. They take the natural kink out of their hair, the same hair that the Most High God has. That's right. Try to look like they're a person, a damn dog, a goat. Till we be destroyed, read. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't listen to the Most High, read. To keep his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes uh -huh. which he commanded thee. And that shall be upon thee for a sign. Now, sister, what's a sign? These curses are going to be upon us for a sign. Brother, what's a sign? How do you know that's the movie theater? There's a sign that tells you it's the movie theater. How do you know that's public? How do you know that's city train? How do you know who are the Israelites? Read that. And that shall be upon thee for a sign. This curse is going to be upon us for a sign, read. And for a wonder. For a wonder, read. And upon thy seed forever. And upon our children forever. That's who you know the true people of God are. Because of these curses, they will be upon us for a sign and a wonder and upon our seed forever. Read on. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God uh -huh. with joyfulness uh -huh. and with gladness of heart uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things. <clears throat> for all the blessings we would have received if we kept the commandments. Read. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. We're going to serve our enemies. Because we don't serve the Heavenly Father, He making us serve our enemies. If you are happy waking up every day to serve this white man, Serve this oppressor, knowing that he's going to blame you for everything that happens. Donald Trump wants to make America great again. When was it great for you? Right. Right. It doesn't matter who you vote for. Read on. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Right, the Lord sent them against us, man, because we won't listen. All we got to do is listen. He'll call the dogs off, man. He'll come and redeem us. He can do it. Can't he not, sister? Can't that the most high save us from this captivity? It's only right. You believe in justice, don't you? Right. And I know you're a compassionate woman. I can see it on your face. Right? But judgment. Judgment is coming from the most high. That's right. There will be retribution. That's right. There will be payback. Because the Most High commands it. And a lot of us are afraid of that. But we gotta accept it and take joy and have hope in it. That rescue is coming. All the murders and lynchings that happened to our foreparents, nobody has been arrested for it. No one. All the police shooters that, they, that happened and they kill us and all this stuff, they just get away. When are we going to get justice? Every time something happens, we keep saying, justice for this person, justice for that person. But we never get it. What you got, huh? What you holding? Uh, I Give me Isaiah 59. Keep looking. Right? Hey, brother, hey, park the car, man. Come sit down. I see you listening, man. 
Why the car come sit down, man? Read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 1. Hear this, sister? Read. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened. The Lord's hand is not shortened. That he cannot save. That he can't save. That's not the reason why he can't save us. That's not the reason why he's not saving us. Because his hand is shortened. Read. That he cannot say, uh -huh. neither, his, neither his ear heavy, that he cannot hear. Uh -huh. But your iniquities. But your what? Your iniquities. What's iniquity? What's iniquity? You know what iniquity is, sister? Iniquity is sin. Right? You know what sin is? What's sin? Wrongful doing. Wrongful doing. Now, now what, what determines what's right and what's wrong? Is it what I say? Is it what your mom say? Is it what the president say? So God say, right? Okay, give me time. Give me first time. Three and four. Time. This is the book of First John, chapter three, verse four. Uh huh. Whosoever committed sin, whoever does sin, transgresses also the law. Transgresses the law, breaks the law. Read. For sin, uh huh, is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. Right? The laws were given to us by the Most High. You will find that in the Old Testament. All right? There's laws on how to dress. You see some of the way our, our women dress, right? Women want to dress provocative, right? They want to show everything. It is not lawful to do so, right? There's a certain way women, young women should carry themselves, right? If you want respect, that's the vibe you need to give off. If you want to attract righteousness, you need to show righteousness. That's right. All right? Read that. Zephaniah 3 This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 8. Uh -huh. Therefore, wait ye upon me, uh -huh. saith the Lord, right? until the day that I rise up to the prayer. You hear that? Uh-huh. For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them my indignation. No, his loving kindness on the other nations. My indignation. He want to give out peace cobbler to everybody. Read. Mine indignations. Man ain't sandwiches. Mine indignation. His indignation. Read. Even all my fierce anger. All his fierce anger. For all the earth. All the earth. Shall be devoured. Uh -huh. With fire uh -huh. of my jealousy. Fire of his jealousy, man. These nations going to get paid back for what happened to us. Right. But we're going to wait on the most high. That's, That's right. Because he promised he's going to come and redeem us. That's right. You understand? But we're going back to sin. Right? We just explained to you what sin is. Sin is transgression of the Most High's law. Right? Let's go back to Isaiah. Alright? The Lord is still with us, but He's waiting on us for something. You understand that? He's waiting on us to be obedient to Him. The book of Isaiah, chapter 59, verse 1. Uh -huh. Behold, the Lord's hand is not short. Uh -huh. That it cannot say, neither is ear heavy, that it cannot hear. Right, you hear that, sister? He, it's not like he can't hear you. He hear us crying and wailing. All right, read. But your iniquities uh -huh. have separated between you and your power. Our sin is separating us from God. All right? And you know what, sister? We wake up every day and we're sinning and we don't know it. Why is that? Because we weren't taught the laws of God. You know what today is? Today's Saturday, right? Today is the Sabbath day. You ever heard that? Give me the Sabbath day. Right? Today is a holy day to the Most High. It's a separate. You know what holy means? Holy means separate. When you make something holy, you separate it from everything else. Right? So let's say um, you have a lot of shoes, right? You like shoes? You like, what do you like? You like jewelry? All right, you got a favorite pair of earrings? Right. So let's say you got a favorite pair of earrings, right? You take those earrings and you put them in a glass case, right? With cotton so it don't get scratched up. There's no dust. And you have all the other jewelry hanging on something or in a drawer somewhere, right? You just made those earrings holy, right? That's what holy means, separate. Right. Give me that. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse eight. Uh-huh. Remember the Sabbath day. Uh, remember the Sabbath day today. To keep it holy. Uh-huh. Six days shalt thou labor. 
How many days? Six days. Six days. Shout out labor. Uh huh. And do all thy work. We have six days to labor and do all of our work. Read. But the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of the Lord thy power. It's the Sabbath of the Lord our, our power, right? That's his day. Read. In it, thou shalt not do any work. No work. We're not supposed to be working on the Sabbath day, right? But what? We get a job that, that our oppressor tried to make us work on the Sabbath day. Make us feel like we're going to get fired if we don't. You understand? Make us feel like we don't deserve a raise if we don't work on the Sabbath day. Read. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, uh -huh. nor thy cattle, uh -huh. nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. You hear that? Nobody. Everything is shut down on the Sabbath day. All right? Do you go to church? But you go to church on Sunday, huh? But what day is the Lord day we just read? Saturday, right? So now, now that you know that, right? Can you unknow it? Can somebody now come and tell you, no, the Lord don't matter what day it is. Right. The Lord killed people for, for working on the Sabbath. Did right. you know that? Yeah, that's in there. A man picked up a bundle of sticks, the most I put him to death. Right? 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 But, but you know this, right? So. Now, what do you do with this information, right? You ain't gotta go fight with your parents, right? You in your parents' house, you gotta do what they tell you to do, right? Give me that in Ephesians. Children obey their parents, right? Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6. Well, now you have to study for yourself. What you want? Right? What you got? Come on, read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Right, what does he require of you once you know you're an Israelite? To all Israelites, what does he require of you? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, uh -huh. and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God uh -huh. with all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul, uh -huh. to keep the commandments so, of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. So the commandments are important, sister. Don't let anybody fool you. Church tell you all day you can eat pork, right? You can eat shrimp, you can eat crab, you can eat lobster, but you can't. You can't do it. That's not pleasing. Find Sirach 19 and 19. Give me that in Ephesians. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 1. Uh huh. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. Uh huh. For this is right. Uh huh. Honor thy father and mother. Honor your parents. Right? When they tell you to be home at a certain time, be home at a certain time. You understand that? Hold that down. Right? If they don't want you to go somewhere, don't argue with them. Don't fight them. If your father says to you, I don't want you wearing that out of this house, don't fight him on it. As a matter of fact, you should go to your father and say, Dad, can I wear this? Is this okay? You understand? Because that's what a righteous daughter will do. Right. And she will bring gladness to her father. That's right. And she will make her mother proud. You understand? And then later on, she will make her husband happy and proud. You understand? Read. Is, is, is that all on it? Read on. Honor thy father and thy mother, uh -huh. which is the first commandment with promise, uh -huh. that it may be well with thee. You hear that? That it may be well with you, read. And thou mayest live long on the earth. But you may live long on the earth, right? So just because your parents may not have this understanding, the knowledge that you know, right, it doesn't make you better than them. It doesn't make you higher than them. You have to respect them until the day they are in the ground. You understand? You always honor and cherish your parents. You understand? But you gotta learn and study. So when it's your time to be on your own, you now have wisdom from the Most High. Read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 19, and verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And they that do things that please him, that do what? That please him, if you wanna please God, right, read on. Shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. If you wanna receive eternal life, isn't that heaven that what you want? Or what you go to church for? Everybody want to go to heaven, right? Just read, read that from the top. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord uh -huh. is the doctrine of life. Uh -huh. And they that do things that please him uh -huh. shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. Right. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Uh -huh. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. Exactly. All wisdom is the performance of this law, sister. If you want to please the most high, it's the performance of the law. Read that. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8 and 11. Because sentence against an evil work. Because what? Because sentence against an evil work. Because we may, we see our people do it, not keeping the commandments. All right? Sinning left and right. Eating pork. I eat pork for 60 years. Nothing happened to me. 
I smoked cigarettes for eight years after it happened to me. Right. Right? Because we see people doing all what they want to do, but nothing bad happens to them, Reed. It's not executed speedily just because judgment doesn't happen right away, Reed. Therefore, the hearts of the sons of men is fully setting them to do evil. Right, so just because judgment doesn't happen to them right away, they don't get in trouble right away, they're set in their ways. They want to continue to do evil, right? When, when, when a bank robber robs one bank, he gets away, what does he do? He robs another one. Somebody break into one house, what do they do? It ain't just one house that get robbed in the neighborhood. It's, it's a string of robberies, right? Because whoever been robbing the house has been sitting at the head of the street for three weeks, watching them what time everybody leave for work, what time they come back, what time they go drop the kids off, right? Then they busting in the house. And they go keep doing it because they ain't get caught yet. Read on. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, though he do it a hundred times, right? Read. And his days be prolonged, uh -huh. yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the most high. See, sister, it's going to be well with you that fear, if you fear the most high. Right? They can do it a hundred times and nothing bad happens to them. But if you fear the most high, God said it will be well with you. But read on. Which fear before him. Uh-huh. But it shall not be well. But what? It shall not be well. It won't be well, read. With the wicked. Uh-huh. Neither shall be, he prolong his days. Uh-huh. Which are as a shadow. Because he feared not before God. See what I'm saying? His days are going to be a shadow. Because he didn't fear the most high. Right? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, and verse 1. All the commandments which I command thee this day shall ye observe to do. You hear that? All the commandments this day, read, that ye may live and multiply, uh -huh. and go in and possess the land which the Lord swear unto your fathers. Right, so every, the whole land, everything, the kingdom, it was uh, something that was promised to our fathers, right? Our fathers are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? That's who we come from. Everybody on this earth know who they come from. You understand what I'm saying? If you want to live, if you want life, if you want eternal life, if you want to live a meaningful life, a life that's pleasing to the most high, you got to keep the commandments. What you got? Baruch 4 and 1. Come on, bring that up. This is the book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Uh -huh. This is the book of the commandment of God uh -huh. and the love that endureth forever uh -huh. and all they that keep it uh -huh. shall come to life. All in that shall do what? Shall they that keep it, it shall come to life. Everybody that keeps the commandments going to come to life. The scriptures consider you dead if you're not keeping the commandments, right? So when you go to church, that's a rule for the dead people. Hmm. You understand? If keeping the commandments is life, you want church on Sunday, that's a rule for the spiritually dead people. But if you want to know the most high, you got to read this Bible. Read it. Read what you got. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Right, so this is Jesus Christ now. Good master, uh -huh. what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So somebody came to Jesus Christ saying, Good master, what should I do to get eternal life? Right? We just read, we got to keep the commandments, right? If we want eternal life. Let's see what Jesus Christ said. Read. And he said unto him, uh -huh. Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Uh -huh. That is God. Uh -huh. so, so Jesus said, Why are you calling me good? There is none good but one. Who's that one? That is God. That is God. So they're not the same. We're taught in church that God and Jesus, Jesus is God, are the same. But Christ never said that. Read. But if thou wilt enter into, into life. Right. If you want it, eternal life, read. Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the, the commandment. What? Keep the, the commandment. See that? This is the New Testament, sister. This is Jesus Christ. And everybody say they love. Right? But he said, if you love me, do what? Keep my commandments. All right, read. Continue. He said unto him, which Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. No what? Murder. Murder. Thou shalt not murder. That's in the Old Testament. Read. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Adultery. How do you know? How you know what adultery is? That's in the Old Testament. Read. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. That's in the Old Testament. Read. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Bear false witness. That's in the Old Testament. Read. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. That's in the Old Testament. We read it for you in the New Testament. Right? That's where they get these things from. Everybody in the New Testament. When they were teaching, they taught it from the Old Testament. The Old Testament is not done away with. Right? The Old Testament is your life source. 
Right? Well, that's she waiting on you? Oh, okay. Now, you don't know her. Huh? <laughs> Read on. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. We shall love our neighbor as thyself. Right? Who's your neighbor? Is it the person that lives next door to you? Yeah? You was about to say no. Is yeah, it the person that lives next door to you? All right, we'll see. You got that? Leviticus 19, 1917. Yeah, come on. Leviticus 1917. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Hey, who? Thy brother in thine heart. Thy brother, right, read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. You shall rebuke thy neighbor, right, read. And not suffer sin upon him. Uh huh. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge. Against the children. Against the what? The children. Against the what? The children. The children. Of thy people. So the children of thy people is what? Your people. So we see brother and we see neighbor. But we see children of thy people used the same way. Right. So when you're talking about the Most High, when you're reading this Bible, when you're reading scriptures, neighbor, brother, it's you know, the children of thy people, other black people, other Hispanic people, Native American Indians, because we are all the same people. We have been disconnected for thousands of years. And it's all recorded in this Bible. Us going into slavery. Right? Uh, read. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 48. Back in the New Testament, Jesus Christ. Be ye therefore perfect, uh -huh. even as your father which is in heaven, is perfect. Right, so Christ has said for us to be perfect. Right? But church say nobody's perfect. Right? Give me, uh, what I'm looking for? I want Psalm 19. What you got? Psalm 19, 7. Come on. Psalm 19, verse 7. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Uh huh. The law of the Lord. The what? The law of the Lord. The what? The law uh, of the wait, Lord. Wait, hold on. What is it, sister? The law of the Lord, read. Is perfect. Is what, sister? Is perfect. So if you want to be perfect, what you got to do? Huh? Follow the laws of the Lord. Right. Right. Follow the laws of the Lord. Because that's what our nation needs. Our nation needs a new breed of young sisters that's going to grow up and be righteous. You understand? And raise righteous families. Raise up a new army. An army of righteousness, man. That's what we need. Being a whore, being a thought, that's over, man. That's finished. That's right. That's finished. That's right. Read. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, Uh huh. We ought to obey God. Obey who? God. God the, the pastor. God, God. The deacon. God. God the, the, the prophet, uh, I don't know. Ham hop. God. God. We ought to obey God rather than men. Rather than men. That's right. Read. The God of our fathers uh -huh. raised up Jesus, uh -huh. who ye slew uh -huh. and hanged on a tree. Uh -huh. Him have God exalted with his right hand uh -huh. to be a prince. To be a what? A, a prince. prince. A prince. And a savior. A savior. For to give repentance. To give repentance. Hold on. Who's repentance for? Come on. Who's repentance for? Is it for everybody or is it for Israel? Y'all know? Read. To Israel. Is repentance to everybody or for Israel? Read the whole thing again, man. Read the whole thing again, man. Oh, no. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, uh -huh. We ought to obey God uh -huh. rather than men. Uh -huh. The God of our father uh -huh. raised up Yahushai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Uh -huh. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince. To be a prince? And a savior. Uh -huh. For to give repentance uh -huh. to Israel. Repentance to Israel. And forgiveness of sins. And forgiveness of sins. Right? Because the law was given to us. Give me um, Psalm um, 147. Uh, come on, come on, read that. This, read is the, that sister. this is the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68. All right, so we just read Christ was crucified for us, right? To give repentance to the nation of Israel. Read. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Uh -huh. For he hath re re for he hath visited uh -huh. and redeemed his people. The Lord has visited and redeemed his people, his people Israel, read. And hath raised up an horn of salvation. A horn in the scripture signified power and strength and might and rulership, read. For us uh -huh. in the house of his servant David, uh -huh. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, uh -huh. which have been since the world began. Right, so this is what the prophets were always talking about, Jesus Christ. 
right? Being born to the nation of Israel, the Savior of Israel, read. That we should be saved. That who? That we. We, Israel, should be saved. Uh -huh, from what? From our enemies. From our enemies, sister. The people who bought us when we got out from slave ships. We need to be saved from them. You understand? Read. And from all that hate us. Uh huh. To perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Uh huh. The oath which he swear to our father Abraham. Right. But I'm going to tell you, our fathers Abraham. These are our fathers. These are who we descend from. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You understand? We are Israelites. That was a promise given to him that we would be saved from our enemies. Read. That he uh -huh. would grant unto us that we being delivered out uh -huh. of the hand of our enemies uh -huh. might be served. Right. That we may be saved. Huh? Might serve him without uh -huh. fear. So uh -huh. that Read that. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Uh -huh. He showeth his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. You hear that, sister? He said, he, read it again, read it again. Last scripture, read it, read it again. He showeth his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh -huh. He hath not dealt so. He hath not what? He hath not dealt so uh -huh. with any nation. He ain't dealing with any nation. All right, so that's your mom? All right, go get to your mom, all right? And remember, uh, honor your mother and your father, all right? No matter the situation. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. All praise. All praise. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Read that again. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Uh -huh. He showeth his word unto Jacob, uh -huh. his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh -huh. He hath not dealt so with any nation. He ain't dealt so with any nation, read on. And as for his judgments, uh -huh. they have not known them. That's why we judge in America, right? Because we as black men are keeping the commandments, read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. This is one of the commandments we're not keeping, read. Neither shalt thou make marriages with we, them. We shouldn't do what? Neither shall not make marriages with them. We're not supposed to get with the other nations. We ain't supposed to get with nobody else. Read. That daughter, thou shalt not give unto his sons. We're not supposed to give our daughters to the white man. Read. No, his daughter shalt thou take unto thy sons. We're not supposed to take their daughters to us. That's right. We're supposed to remain holy to the Most High. That's right. Your seed is holy. That's right. We gotta raise up a holy nation. That's, That's right. right. Give me the Leviticus 20 and 26. We need to separate from our oppressor. That's our problem. You got that? God, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 26. Uh huh. And ye shall be holy unto me. Shall be what? Holy unto me. Read on. For I, the Lord, am holy, and I suffered you from other people that didn't should be mine. You know what I'm saying? Brother wanna go get a white girl, he think he hot stuff now. That's right. He forget his people ain't all right. That's right. Ain't all right. Brother That's get right. some money. What he do? He gonna get a white woman. That's right. Because he wanna, he wanna fit in in society. Right. He wanna fit in. We just read. Oh. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Give me um, uh, Romans uh, 12 and 10. I think that's what I want. 12 and 2, 3 and 4. No, 10. Read. This is the book of Romans, chapter 12, verse 10. Uh -huh. Be kindly affection uh -huh. one to another. Man, you're supposed to have your affection to another Hebrew Israelite, man. If you're an Israelite, give with another Israelite. Stop getting in bed with these other nations. They will never love you. Read. With brotherly love uh -huh. and honor. Preferring one another. We're supposed to prefer one another, man. If you're a black man, you ain't supposed to prefer the white woman. If you're a black woman, we are supposed to prefer the white man. That's right. You're supposed to get with your own. How you guys doing? Right? That's why we continuously being destroyed, man. That's right. The most are continuously shooting now. Let the white man have his woman, man. Let him have his woman. That's, That's right. right. Let the East Indian have their woman. Let the African have their woman. We don't need to get with them. Read, read 7 3 again, man. Read Deuteronomy 7 3 again. I 
Our people used to get lynched. Why? Because a white woman lied and said she got raped by a black man. Isn't that true? Did that not happen? Cities, cities, whole cities have been burned to the ground because a white woman lied and said she got raped by a black man. The white race is a liar. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes. Bring it out of there. Emphatically, yes. Right. Read. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred right. and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel right. by the force of the sword. By the force of the sword. 